Michaela Vernava alongside Nicholas Goss in the Nesson Studios as the NHL draft is coming up quickly. And Nick, we talked a lot in our league-wide draft preview about the awesome forwards in this year's draft. But of course, we know that defense was really a pitfall for the Bruins this season. And if they're going to want to build up their blue line from the draft, who do you think will be the best options available when the Bruins pick number 14 overall? I think the ideal case scenario for the Bruins would be have Jacob Chikorin from the Sarnia State fall to them. He's been ranked in a lot of different rankings, anywhere from 8 to 14. He was the number two player in a lot of rankings before the season, but a lot of players have passed him since. Um, he'd be an ideal fit as a two-way guy who really moves the puck well and moving the puck out of the defensive zone, starting the breakout was a big issue for the Bruins this season. But I think a better and probably more likely scenario would be Jake Bean of the Calgary Hitmen falling to them. He's another good two-way player, someone who can uh, contribute offensively and score goals. Um, so I think those two guys are probably the, the guys that Don Sweeney and his staff will look at. Well, depending on how things shake out before their pick, can you envision a scenario where maybe they go with a forward if it's a better overall value? I think it's possible. You mentioned that we talked about there being a lot of forwards in this draft. Uh, somebody always falls. That's usually how it happens. You know, they got a red flag or teams draft on need and somebody comes down there that you didn't think was going to be there. And the Bruins, I mean, let's face it, they do have holes on offense. They need a better bottom six, uh, more depth scoring for next season. And we don't know what's going to happen with Louis Erickson. You know, if he leaves, they'll need some depth on the wing. And uh, so I could definitely see if a forward falls that they like, they could grab him. But I think the priority should be building the blue line. And the best way to do that is through the draft. All right. Thanks, Nick. Make sure to keep it on Nesson.com for all your Bruins news.